Greetings from Florida. Today we're working on an Audi A4 convertible, the Cabriolet. I've sped this up times four, so you might want to watch it a second time if you need to, but it took about an hour, so I didn't want to keep you for too long to watch this, so I, I took it down to 15 minutes. Near the seatbelt is a plastic cover. Remove that cover, there is one Torx bolt. That's about it. The rest of it's a matter of prying off the panel to get um, to get the panel off. If you have any questions on this, you're welcome to uh, email me on YouTube, please. You don't have to remove that wood grain strip or pretty much anything else. Surprising how little you have to remove. When you get it back a little bit, you can't see this, but when you get it back a little bit, there's a piece of um, styrofoam, a foam in there that uh, baffles the sound and, and provides a little cushion against it. So you gotta kind of force that out after you push this forward. Don't worry about the fact that the panel is separating. It'll, it'll go back together when you're done. I've done about six of these. They're getting easier and easier. This is where I was pushing the panel in to remove that styrofoam piece, which I'm probably not going to show you, but it's there. And there's two ways to get these. You can buy them from the dealer directly. You can also ship yours to Window Motor World on the other side of Florida. They do a great job rebuilding these. I've used them a number of times and they really come back stronger than ever. They charge about $180 to $200. And the part new from the dealer is only about $280. So for what it's worth. You're going to take off the speaker. Get four small torque screws there. And I'm going to remove all of the um, moisture seal just so you can get a better view of what's going on. Oh, uh, two 10 millimeter nuts that hold that uh, relay in place. You're going to move, move that to get access to the bolt. The bolts that hold the regulator on, I believe, are 13 millimeter. I could be wrong. Okay, you got four screws at the top. I'm not sure if they're all going to be visual or not, but you'll see them, the two that I took out and two on the sides of that. And you've got two 10 millimeter nuts at the very top of the bar that are also going to come off. You'll see these are all quite evident. You don't want any problem with that. And then once you do, you can loosen up the three bolts that hold the regulator to the door. So you got one there. I don't think that one wanted to give, so I ended up going back with the yeah, doing it by hand. You got one down there. You don't take them out, just loosen them up. And then you want one there. You're going to pull out the regulator and the glass. You may have to slide the glass up or down. Oh, you'll need to unplug that stupid harness, that wiring harness. That's a nightmare. It's going to break on you. Um, that's probably the hottest part of this whole thing, is getting that harness off. I, I struggled with it for a bit. It's going to take a minute or two. Even if you break some of the plastic, it's not the end of the world. It'll, it'll definitely lock back in when you put it in.
Sorry for blocking the view for a minute. I, I had to get in there and get that that harness off. Also, sorry about the light. I'm sorry it wasn't the other side that we were doing, but que sera, sera. Looks like I got it off, and then I got it out. Beautiful. Next, I'm probably going to grab my iPhone 11 to show you what's going on with the, uh, with the glass. There we go. All right, I'm back. So, to get the... Oh, come on. Really? To get the glass off, there's three... I think they were 10 millimeter bolts that hold the glass to the regulator. Which, for some reason, you're not seeing. I thought I saw it when I was doing it. I bet. Really? I apologize. Not my finest video. Then you get three torque screws that hold the motor to the regulator. You can take those off. Okay, so we have the motor back on and we put the glass back on. Slide it back in. Shouldn't be a problem there. Uh, the one thing you gotta look out for is those three large 13 millimeter bolts. Um, they have to hook into the three places where they hook into. So just keep your eyes open. Uh, a couple of them don't go in as easily as it would like, but they do go in. So work it. That one goes in easy, but the two on the bottom uh, can require a little bit of tweaking to get it in. I think I even went around and lowered the window a little bit to make it a little bit easier to get it all in. Tighten that down, tighten that down, tighten that down. There are a few adjustments. In this case, the glass lined up pretty good. Uh, usually what I'll do is put the glass up and close the passenger door, put that glass up and see if they look like they lined up properly. Uh, sometimes they will right from the get-go. If they don't, you do have some play in the glass where you can, um, not the three large bolts that I just screwed in, but the three 10 millimeter bolts on the glass, you can just loosen them a little bit and slide the glass one way or the other. And if you really need to, the back to the 13 millimeter large bolts, um, the one on the bottom, you can uh, use a, loosen it and then use a Torx driver to bring it in or out if you need the glass to go in or out a little bit. But again, usually when it comes from the factory that way, it's, it's fine. Put that little triangular thing back on. Bosch tools, they've been great for me. Highly recommend them. I'm going to put that strip back on. When you take it off, you might want to take a picture of how it went just so you can refer back to it because you haven't done this before. It makes it easier. Then you can send your Instamatic camera out, have it developed, and three weeks later when you get it back, you'll know what to do. Or you can use your cell phone. So you got those four 10 millimeter bolts that hold that in. One of them is not pictured, it's all the way to the right of the screen. And the one to the right of the screen, you'll need to use a 10 millimeter wrench. You won't be able to get access to that with a, um, a cordless tool. It's, it's it just doesn't, but it's easily accessible with a cordless wrench, with a, uh, a wrench. And let's get that down snug. Let's put this stuff back.
Now, getting the pan on was a bit of a challenge for me, and it will be for you too. It just doesn't, it just doesn't fit properly. Uh, that was the way it should have gone on, but I started playing with it and had to do it a couple times. Because after I got that in, I wanted to put the, um, that styrofoam piece back in. I mean, you don't have to. There it is. You can see it in the upper left. But it was there, so I'd like to put it back in. By the way, to remove the seat, it just pulls up. The seat just literally pulls up. There's no screws for the, for the bottom of the seat. And in theory, I could have taken out the back of the seat, too, which I have done in the past, but it takes an extra few minutes, so I just don't bother. Now, this is where I got this in wrong. I put it on the front, where it should have been in the back. So you'll get to see me do it wrong, and then you'll get to see me do it right. If you use an iPhone, you definitely want to upgrade to the iPhone 11. It's significantly better than the iPhone 10, significantly. And I got the uh, the top of the line, which one has the three cameras, which has been fantastic, and two, it's 5G ready. So when they do finally come out with 5G in a couple of years, you won't have to trade in your phone again. And what's missing on that is the wood grain trim piece came off. It, it's fine; it goes back on no problem. But that's why it's what's missing right now. Then you need to line it up, get all the clips in. There we go. If you're in Tampa Bay, Sarasota, Bradenton, Tampa Bay, call me, uh, Power Up Auto, and we'll be happy to do this for you. And here's where I put that that one Torx bolt back in is just one bolt and it's right under where the seatbelt plastic bezel is. Right at the top of the seatbelt is a plastic bezel. Just pop that off, one bolt, that's it. And here's where I was adjusting and tweaking it a little bit. All came together great though. She was thrilled. The customer was very happy. See, it didn't line up there right, right away, but I finally got it. I'm not sure what I did. We'll see. Let's see what I did. Maybe that's what I did. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you found this helpful and thank you very much for watching. You have a great day.